Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is sovereignty. We're going to be talking about common law and real law, okay, and color of law. And uh, uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit, and uh, you're going to see that, uh, that we're all a nation of kings and queens. And this is what the courts are saying. And, uh, and that uh, uh, most of the laws, or so-called laws, are really color of law, and, and it's in their own statutes. They know that it's color of law. And uh, we'll talk about that, and we'll talk about what the courts are saying, and you know the whole nine yards. Anyway, so uh, uh, we're talking about sovereignty. This is a presentation on sovereignty. And uh, do you know who you are? Think about that. So, do you know who you are? What is a sovereign? These are all things we're going to be talking about today. What is a sovereign? Who is a sovereign? Where does sovereignty come from? And the rights and duties of sovereignty and how you can lose your sovereignty and how you can get it back. So what is a sovereign? Sovereignty is the right to rule. And this is what the courts are saying. Sovereign can be a king or a queen. Uh, a sovereign can be a group of people. A sovereign can be a living soul. This is a, a U.S. court case. Sovereignty is the right to govern. A nation or state sovereign is the person or persons in whom that resides. For the very idea that one may be compelled to hold his life or the means of living or any material right essential to the enjoyment of life at the mere will of another seems to be intolerable in any free country where the freedom prevails as being the essence of slavery itself. You know, and if you think about that, um, if you are forced to pay anybody anything, then you're essentially a slave for what you have to pay them. And um, so then, do you know who you are? Are you free or are you a slave? And that's what they're essentially saying in this court case, okay? Uh, uh, for the very idea that one may be compelled to hold the life or the means of living or any material right essentially to the enjoyment of life, okay? Isn't, you know, your ability to make money uh, a material right essential to the enjoyment of life? Uh, uh, and and uh, what they're saying is it's being uh, intolerable in any free country where freedom prevails as being the essence of slavery itself. And that is so true. And what's happened is we have all been set up for slavery, essentially. But it's because of our own ignorance of the law. Anyway, so who are the sovereigns? In a monarchy, the king or the queen is sovereign. In a common law country, the sovereigns are the people. And here's a court case. Uh, the words people of the United States and citizens are synonymous terms and mean the same thing. They both describe the political body who, according to our Republican institutions, form the sovereignty and who hold the power and conduct the government through their representatives. They are what we familiarly call the sovereign people. And every citizen is one of this people and a constituent member of the sovereignty. So then we the people in America are sovereigns, but that's because of common law. And there's court cases in, 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 in common law countries all over the world that talk like this. This is a Canadian court case. The sovereign people, through their representatives, have created the court and the board, as well as the municipal council, and have defined the rights and duties of each. That's in uh, uh, reference Casa Loma, which is in downtown Toronto. So we, the people, are kings and queens. I've seen Australian court cases that talk about this. I mean, there, uh, and I believe that if you do search in any common law country, you're going to find court cases that talk like this. The people are sovereign, are not bound by general words and statutes restrictive of prerogative right. Now, uh, this prerogative right is something to keep in mind. That's a word or a set of words. And one of the things we're going to be talking about is certain words that, um, uh, uh, that uh, uh, we need to keep in mind, okay? Certain words. Uh, uh, that are used against us and that we can use other against our public servants. So, uh, uh, in any ways, uh, restrictive of prerogative right, title, or interest, unless expressly named. Acts of limitation do not bind the king or the people. The people have been ceded all the rights of the king, the former sovereign. It is a maxim of common law that when an act is made for the common good to prevent injury, the king should be bound, though not named. But when a statute is general and prerogative right would be divested or taken from the king, he shall not be bound. Okay, so 
a couple things this thing says. It says the people have been ceded all the rights of the king. Okay, and this is not the only court case that talks like this, I'm telling you. There's lots of them that talk like this. And so we are kings and queens. That's exactly what we are. And uh, uh, you don't know who you are. And essentially what's happening is you have a bunch of pirates telling you who you are. And are you going to sit there and let someone tell you who you are? I know I'm not. We the people are kings and queens. At the revolution, the sovereignty devolved on the people, and they are truly the sovereigns of the country, but they are sovereigns without subjects. They have none to govern but themselves. The citizens of America are equal as fellow citizens and, and as joint tenants in the sovereignty. Well, I mean, this says a huge amount. Think about it. Devolved. That's a real important word in this matter. Uh, a devolved means that the sovereignty in England evolved away and then at the revolution that devolved back. And so uh, uh, it, 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 uh, it's the reverse of evolved. And, uh, and so, again, we the people are the sovereigns. Do you know who you are? And, uh, and there's English court cases. If you, there's a Canadian court case that talks about the Magna Carta, and we're going to uh, cover that. Uh, but let's go on. People of a state are entitled to all the rights which formerly belonged to the king by his prerogative. Remember, prerogative right. Here it is again. People of a state are entitled to all the rights which formerly belonged to the king by his prerogative. It will be admitted in, on all hands that with the exception of the powers granted to the states uh, and the federal government through the Constitution, the people of the several states are unconditionally sovereign within their respective states. Well, you know, that doesn't say that they're only sovereign if we can't get them into some contract, okay? That says they're unconditionally sovereign. That means under no circumstances can we ever take away their sovereignty, ever. I mean, too many people think they can get you in some contract. And, and but uh, uh, you have to understand what's happened because of our own ignorance that, that we have become involved in what the courts view to be contracts. But all you got to do is bring up this stuff and you just watch them die for cover. They don't want to talk about it. I, can, I can't tell you how many times I've done this stuff. And they just die for cover. I have seen government attorneys go into court and say, there is no contract. It's a nullity. That's a, like a quote. Quote, there is no contract. It's a nullity. Unquote. That is just about word for word what they said. And so uh, that's the point, is that, is that if you establish yourself as the king, they don't want to talk to you. They have no authority. They don't have a shred of authority. Now, uh, I need to qualify that. If you commit murder, they can arrest the king. Okay? If the king commits murder, they can arrest the king. If the king commits theft, uh, uh, they can arrest the king. Uh, uh, so, so common law offenses, they can come after you for, and they should. Uh, uh, but speeding? <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, but the point is, is that do you know who you are? And, and you have a bunch of pirates that are running around making legal determinations for you and telling you who you are, and you're letting them get away with it. Listen to this. Governments are but trustees, acting under derived authority and have no power to delegate what is not delegated to them. But the people, as the original fountain, might take away what they have delegated and entrust it to whom they please. The sovereignty in every state resides in the people of the state, and they may alter or change their form of government at their pleasure. So the only power the government had is delegated, and I can take away my delegation. And even though I delegated certain rights and authorities to the government, doesn't mean I can't exercise them myself. So, so do you know who you are? You have to be the king. You have to. You can't just talk the talk. You got to walk the walk, and and uh, because they're gonna try all sorts of things. I guarantee you, because they're in business to make money for their owners. And we'll talk about that too. Um, uh, 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 this presentation, you have to understand, is 